right, check it out, guys. I'm really excited to bring you guys this project that I've been working on for some time now with Applique. I know you guys know I did a little bit of collaboration work with them, uh, both like some work for the blog as well as uh, designing some clothes. And uh, now we uh, are doing it a little bit better this time. We've got a nice little collaboration project where I actually designed the fabric that was used on some clothes. So uh, I went all the way from designing it to printing it, and uh, I'll talk about the process and basically everything right here. So um, I started off with a basic sketch. I digitalized it as I would uh, anything that I need yeah. to be screen printed, and uh, I took some stuff from some sketches as well as some uh, older uh, like black book stuff I had done and kind of just compiled it into this little uh, camouflage design. Uh, I got a little tag snuck in there as well. Um, I went back and forth with a couple different versions of this and the final version can be seen uh, at the end of the video as well as kind of throughout you'll get a good idea of what the print looks like but um, I'll also have another video later on showing the actual clothes I designed with it. I got to design a hoodie and a hat and then uh, you know now it's up for sale on their website. Anybody can uh, design with my exact fabric. Um, if you're not familiar with the Plique, it basically lets you design any uh, kind of form of clothing. They have over uh, 600 fabrics, I think, as well as a couple, uh, maybe 50 or 60 different products you guys can actually design. So it's not really limited just to uh, hoodies or t-shirts. You uh, can do bags. Girls, you can do dresses. Um, like I said, hats uh, are a new thing. They have five panels as well as uh, snapbacks and stuff. So uh, there's a bunch of different options as well as where you can put the patches. And if 600 fabric isn't like 600 different fabrics are not enough, you can actually submit your own fabric. It's a new uh, feature that I've kind of helped pilot with uh, my whole process of me actually making the fabric so you don't actually have to make the fabric if you have some fabric that you uh, want print made with the t-shirt I'll uh, put a link in the description and uh, send you that way with uh, the customizer that helps you set everything up with that and uh, helps to get your piece of fabric to them and then they'll uh, s cut and sew it on and do their magic so when it came to screen printing this process, it was actually way different than I had anticipated. Um, normally when screen printing you do one pass and then you move on, um, but this time I was doing three colors which was uh, second or third time I had actually done it at this point. So I had uh, that kind of figured out, but the bigger thing was tiling it up and laying it down so uh, I could do one big kind of spool of fabric. Um, so the way they work is they just have, you know, 10 yards of fabric by like a yard wide and uh, they cut it down to the small pockets or the bigger uh, patches that uh, you see on the garments. But um, I had uh, just the empty fabric and I had to tile it on myself. Um, with screen printing, I was able to do, I think, just about a foot wide. Um, I did like foot wide segments and then like uh, a little bit under two feet uh, tall segments and uh, I had to tile them up and it actually uh, worked way better than I expected. Um, the kind of process is was all up to me as I had no way of uh, figuring out or ever doing it ahead of time. So I did uh, some test stuff obviously first and then I actually started printing on the fabric that I uh, ended up sending them and uh, you know whatever I kind of figured out it worked pretty well so uh, basically I just took the print, did it once and then I layered on actually like a kind of guideline that I could fold over and uh, layer up the next um, screen as well as I would leave uh, the first screen open with no ink on it just so I could double check that and I'll just I just pull it down and make sure that the registration was online but as well as the design it actually catered to not needing to be have a perfect registration as uh, the camouflage designs everything was just kind of tiled up and uh, if pieces got overlapped, that was okay. Um, it didn't really take away from it too much. I know uh, the pieces I ended up getting did have, like, I guess the seam of the design on it, and you can barely tell. No one's even commented on it. But uh, that being said, the compliments on uh, the fabric and, you know, the whole piece, I'll talk more about that in the other video, but it's been unreal. Everybody's loving it, and hopefully you guys are as receptive to it as uh, I was. So learning to do that tiling process was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed it and I think I ended up printing something that was like uh, five yards long and maybe like two wide and then a couple uh, one-off smaller pieces that I sent to them as well. But that being said, it was really interesting to like work through this process and have such a positive like outcome in both uh, the sense that I was really happy with the design and uh, how well the garment printed in itself. Um, that being said, if you guys want to get the garment uh, that you'll see in the next video or just get something with uh, my fabric on it, you can head over to a fleet. Uh, it's just one of the couple hundred that you can uh, choose from. Uh, that being said, if uh, you do want to buy something through them, you can use uh, the coupon code MrSive at 
check out. That's M-I-S-T-E-R-S-I-V-E. -E. Totally spelled out for you guys. Uh, and that'll save you 10%, I still believe. And uh, that'll help me out as well. And that'll show a week that uh, you guys are supporting uh, them through me kind of thing. As well as I'd like to give a big... Uh, shout out and thank you to Ian and Ethan from Oblique. Both of them have been super helpful in the process. I know uh, I've been super busy with school and that's why this video is like the first in a couple weeks and uh, definitely it's been a long process to get this together but I've just been super busy and I apologize about the slower end of my things but at the same time I'm super happy with the outcome and everything and I'm glad that it worked out so well. So be sure to show them some love. I'll give you guys all their website, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff down below. Go give them a like. Go give them a follow. Just check them out as always. And if you have any questions about the process or how to submit your own fabrics to them, uh, just hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to uh, see, see through them every day or so and uh, reply to those as they come. And uh, that's really going to do it for me. Peace.